From two dirty painters to multiple seven-figure business owners, I'm Radiant. And I'm Carmelo. And we'll be giving you guys the insider secrets to take your trades business to the next level. From crazy stories to proven strategies, get ready to supercharge your business with us. Welcome to the Dirty Painters Podcast. In today's episode, we'll be giving you the secrets to how we help trade business owners make more money through our own bookkeeping software that we created, CloudBooks. Let's get right into it. Cloudbooks. All right. So I know you and Shadi are the main facilitators of Cloudbooks. So how did that come into fruition? All right. So this episode was, we did a poll uh, on my Instagram story and uh, turns out that at least 150 people from my audience, they don't know what bookkeeping is, which was pretty crazy, at least for me and even crazy for Shadi. But we have to kind of educate our audience in what bookkeeping is and what does it do for your business. So the main reason we started that is because we saw the struggles through the consulting that we were doing the prior prior year with uh, business owners. Uh, we saw a lot of financial struggles and then a lot of financial uh, issues that these painting contractors and business owners were having. For example, number one, not being organized or keeping their books in a, uh, note in like scrap paper notes just like a general ledger whatever uh, and then uh, that was bringing a lot of issues in the business that they weren't aware of so that was the main reason so we're gonna dive a little bit into what bookkeeping is and uh how can you use it how can you do it by yourself because a lot of you are not ready to hire cloud books you're not ready to hire a bookkeeper you're not ready you're not in the stage of business that you can afford that service yet so we're gonna give you guys some guidance and then uh, some knowledge on the, the certain metrics that you need to know and then how to do it yourself in the beginning until you grow your business and then you can leverage and delegate that responsibility to a bookkeeper or an accountant or whatever. Yeah, that's in the beginning when you have enough time to be handling the books and all that, when you have the funds to basically, your time is more, efficiently spent when you're working on the business rather than just the bookkeeping. So basically, uh, not a lot of them were financially educated or some of the financial terms. So we'll just terms. use myself mm -hmm. as an example. So when I first started Olympian, uh, everything was literally on a notebook that I had left over from my college days. So all the expenses, all the money in, all the jobs, everything was on that notebook. So it was pretty unorganized to say the least. And then uh, the more we grew the business and the more I kept it doing it that way, I was missing a lot of things. I was missing, I was not keeping track of a lot of certain things that mattered in the business. And that's when we started bleeding money. And then God, God willing, Shadi reached out to me on Instagram for a painting estimate. And then we painted his building and then he was a CPA. He's like, yeah, I'll, I'll help you with your uh, accounting and stuff. And then he goes, he's like, well, how do you keep track of your current financials? And I was like, here's my notebook. Here's all my notes. <laughs> he's like, is. dude, what the heck are you doing? And then we were doing decent at the time. We're, the business was picking up. He's like, you can't, you can't grow like this, but you're going to have a lot of issues down the road. Maybe with your taxes, maybe with uh, missing things. Fine. So he sat down, he organized everything. We put everything on the books, all linked all the accounts. So that was me. I was one of you. That's the thing. That's the reason we started Clubbooks because I was one of those painters out there that I didn't know bookkeeping. I never learned about bookkeeping and I didn't know the importance of being organized and tracking every single dollar that goes in and out from your business. The more we grew, the more the process became streamlined. And then, you know, we started the bookkeeping uh, business just because it goes kind of hand to hand with our consulting business. So those were, that was the main reason for CloudBooks. We wanted to have, once you go past the $300,000, $400,000 a year top line gross revenue, it's time you start delegating certain tasks. And bookkeeping is the first one that you have to do when your business passes that, uh, kind of breaks through that ceiling. It's gonna save you a lot of time. Me doing it by myself, and again, I was not an expert. I'm still not an expert. I still use a bookkeeper. I'm not doing it myself, but I know how to read the reports. So just to give you a perspective, and then when I was doing it by myself, the books were very unorganized. 
on average, it would take me like four hours a week just to like go through every expense, through every check I was writing to my guys, keeping track of the 1099s. And the biggest issue I was having at the end of the year, because I was not do, doing the proactive work and I was not doing my homework, it would take me days to reconcile all the 1099s. It would be a nightmare, especially uh, right before the deadline to send out 1099s. It would take me forever to find every guy, to, look, to match their checks, how much I've given them out, how much a 1099 should be. And then a lot of times I made mistakes, which they costed time and money to have my accountant send out changes to the IRS and uh, new forms because I, uh, one thing, like I remember for instance, I had this one guy and then I accidentally put like $6,000 over on his 1099 because my stuff was or, or unorganized. And he's like, oh, I'm gonna report you to the IRS. You're trying to rob me and all that. And again, it was an honest mistake. I was not trying to do, I was not trying to rob him and put $6,000 extra on his 1099. It was just, it was just me being unorganized. So I had, I remember vividly, I had to have Shaddy write this letter, redo the 1099, resubmit it, send another letter. It was just like a two week process just to resend a 1099 that was submitted wrongfully like an honest mistake. Uh, and then that was like, okay, this, this has to change, man. I cannot be doing this. Uh, it's taking me too, too many, too much time. It's taking too many days. And then the likelihood of me fucking up something because this is not what I do was very high at the time. Well, I can't even imagine how many expenses and how many mistakes I've done with uh, the books. That was another thing that looking back now, and obviously I don't remember everything, but I'm like, okay, there is definitely a lot of things that I missed. Uh, I probably overpaid in taxes a lot of times, or um, I didn't make good financial choices for the business because I didn't know my numbers. So that was pretty much how we were operating at the time. And the great thing when you sign up with CloudBooks is uh, you get access to a CPA like Shadi that he can run you through all these things, especially that he specialized in the trades. So he knows the ins and outs of the tax codes write-offs, et cetera, everything. So like Shadi's team, they're actually CPAs. Our team, our partners, uh, all his firm, they're all licensed accountants, CPAs, whatever. So they're not just bookkeepers or like a virtual assistant or someone that uh, just does bookkeeping. They actually have expert knowledge working with businesses for a decade, over a decade actually uh, at this time. And then prior to starting their own firm, they were working for big, big, uh, companies. Uh, Shadi was working for PwC. And I found that out that Shadi was working for PwC when we were painting PwC in downtown Tampa. And then I posted a story of us doing PwC. He's like, oh, no way, man. That's my, my old company. I was like, no fucking shit. So they're actual experts when they don't just have some uh, virtual assistant bookkeepers in uh, Thailand or India or something like a $5 an hour person doing your books. There is actually an expert CPA team that looks over everything. And then they can recognize where you're bleeding money. They can recognize where you have opportunities to grow, where you can invest. For example, one of our clients right now, he was asking uh, us, uh, Shadi mainly, he's like, hey, based on my financials and based on my cash flow, do you think it's a good time for me to get a shop? Do you think my cash flow can support it? And then he looks at the reports. He's like, yeah, you can definitely make that move. Just, and then they come to me, he's like, okay, how many leads am I gonna need? How many kitchens do I need to sell to be able to support that goal? So that's another advantage that you don't get with other bookkeeping firms. You get experts on the financial side, the bookkeeping side, the accounting side, and then also you get experts that they've been doing, they've been running successful painting businesses for a long time. So that's, uh, that's another advantage that you get working with CloudBooks. You basically get a great strategic partner. Correct. So we're not just a, your bookkeeper or your accountant or whatever, or your consultant, whatever you want to call us, we're your growth partner. So we look at the business as a whole, like as a whole. First, we start with organizing the financials, organizing your business, because a lot of painters out there, and we mainly work with painters because that's our expertise, but same with other trading businesses. Uh, trade, trades businesses, construction, whatever it might be, then they are very unorganized. There is no KPIs, key performance indicators in their businesses. There is no tracking. 
I would say about 90% of the people that I talk to, they have um, no real way of organizing their business or keeping track. So I, I'll ask a painter like, hey, how much money did you make last month? And they don't know, which blows my mind. I'm like, how don't you know how much money you made last month? Like you need to be aware of your, your like how much money you have in your pocket at all times, I would assume. And then um, that's another thing that will make you aware. Also another big struggle that exists out there is they don't collect money properly or there's open invoices for days, weeks, months. The collection process, it's very slow. All, with CloudBooks, you can generate invoices, you can send reminders. Once you're on the platform, you get a lot of other tools as well. You can get estimating tools, you can send out estimates, you can have your estimates approved at real time from your customers. You can send the invoices, you can have your customers uh, pay through the CloudBooks platform, and then it goes to your bank account. There's a lot of other tools. You can track jobs, you can do job cost analysis, which is very important. You need to be doing uh, job cost analysis at every job pretty much. All these things are vital. And then that platform really covers all that spectrum of the business. So when somebody wants to sign up with CloudBooks, what is the standard process that almost every new subscriber goes through? So our process is very unique. And then you can test out for yourself. If, uh, and I recommend uh, not just hiring us because You've seen me and Carmelo being in business for six years and you trust us. I recommend doing the same thing that our painting customers do when they call us for an estimate. Talk to three different companies and compare. So our process is very unique. First, starts with onboarding and then starts with uh, the free consultations that we do for you. First, you're gonna talk to the expert, CPA, that's approved and you know qualified to talk to you about your financials of the business, your taxes, whatever. I'm not qualified. I don't have any licenses. I don't have anything. So I don't talk to you about that. Once you talk to the expert, then you talk to us, which are, we are the painting experts, the business experts, at least we think so, or we hope so. And then we look into your marketing. We look into your sales process. Our goal, that's why we say, how do you make more money with CloudBooks? Because our goal is for the business to make more money, for you to keep, to make more money. So we have to look at your business as a whole. Just us organizing your books is not going to make your business more money. You have to bring more sales in. You have to convert more jobs. You have to organize your marketing. You have to spend money for marketing. We need to know how much money you can afford to spend for marketing. Because our customers, they range anywhere from literally... $35 a day in ad spend, all the way to like $3,000 a day in ad spend. So we need to see your metrics to understand what is comfortable for the business to invest in marketing right now. And then that's step one of the onboarding. Free consultation with the expert in taxes, financials, bookkeeping, accounting, and then free consultation with the expert, of, with the business side expert. Once we make sure we're a good fit for each other, then it's very simple. Uh, our team is going to onboard your business, is going to educate you on the platform. We're going to give you, uh, it's an app on your phone, on your computer. You can uh, run pretty much your whole business out of the app. Like we said, estimates. Uh, you can look at your reports, real reports, real time. You can uh, send out invoices. If you finish a job, you can send an invoice to your customer. Like, hey, man. Pay up, pay up. What's up? <laughs> so it's not you, charity. You can, yeah, we're not running. So that's another thing. And I love doing, I love having that tool because uh, I don't even have to text the customers like, hey, what's up? Where's my check? I just send them a reminder and it looks like it's automated. Uh, that they get the reminder like, hey, you have your invoices past due or, uh, Pay, pay up pretty much. And you can set other reminder. You can send it to send one day after the invoice is past due, two days. You can send them three reminders a day, whatever. You can be annoying until you get paid. That's what we do after like, an, because a lot of times customers, uh, we say do upon completion, but like we know more, a lot of times it's not do upon completion. A lot of times it's, oh, I forgot, or oh, I'm on a trip or I'm on vacation or I'm like, it's easy. Just three clicks, just click, click, pay. Uh, but anyways, you can, you have that, uh, 
tool as well. You can send reminders to your customers so you don't have to text them, call them and all that. Also, you can see when they view the invoice, which uh -oh. I love. So <laughs> you can see when they viewed the estimate, how many times they viewed the estimate, how many times they viewed the invoice. Um, <laughs> this is funny because a lot of times I'll go to an invoice and then I'll see they viewed it like 11 times. I'm like, guys, the more you view it, it doesn't get any less money. It's still gonna be the same. <laughs> You're not getting any discount, just pay it. Uh, so that's another good tool that you have. You can see if the customer actually saw it because a lot of times we used to get people like, hey, oh, I haven't seen it and all that. I'm like, 10.53, two seconds. Yeah, I'm like, literally, you saw it three minutes ago. <laughs> so that's great. Also, you, um, the estimates, you can see when they saw the estimate, you can see if they actually seen it or not. And then you can be like, okay, they're ghosting me for a reason. And you try and find out the reason. That's another good tool. You can resend the estimates. You can send reminders like, hey, you have a pending estimate from uh, Olympian painting or wh whatever painting. You can re-engage them, which is kind, it's not a marketing tool. Cloudbooks is not a marketing platform. It's a financial, running your business, um, money in, whatever it, but that's a good tool to not be annoying and texting them and just send them reminders in their email as well. Like, hey, you have a pending estimate. Uh, so you, that's why we said pretty much you can run your whole business from your phone or your computer on the go, um, whatever. And then you have the experts doing your books and making sure everything is in order or if there's any red flags, if there's any overcharges. Another thing that we notice, double charges. A lot of times people have double charges that they don't notice. So those are the things that we flag and they're like, hey, did you mean to spend 300 bucks twice here? Or did you mean to do this twice? There's a double charge pretty close to each other. So we make you aware of those things. And then at the end of the month, we deliver all the reports, profit and loss, balance sheets, whatever you need to know how your business is doing for the month. And then with the business side of CloudBooks, we teach you how to read those reports because just getting the reports, it's not enough. You have to know how to read those reports. You have to know, you have to understand pretty much the numbers that are being presented to you. And that's your duty as a business owner. If you're a business owner, there's no excuses. You have to know a little bit of everything. You have to be uh, educated in every aspect of the business. You don't have to be an expert fin financial guy or an accountant, but you have to understand the, the main metrics of your business. You don't have to be an expert marketer, but you need to understand certain metrics to see if the people you're working with in marketing or if your marketing is working, if it's delivering results. Those are some very important things that we teach you on your onboarding phase. And we send you all our PDFs, all our videos, all our online training, everything, all the estimating forms. We send you the whole process of how us successfully use the platform on our day-to-day -day operations. Because we're not marketing something that we don't use. We're marketing, marketing a platform that our whole business runs out of. Yeah. Everything. And my favorite thing about it is the access to the CPAs and the experts, because especially because I see a few people make the mistake of trying to grow too fast. Like they run when they haven't learned to walk yet. Like having this big truck payment of $1,300. Like, mm -hmm. hey, did, did you have a CPA to ask? Like, hey, can I swing something like that or a shop? or they buy a shop and then shops just stays there for the pumps that they never use and like no cabinets. So it's really a cheat code just having an expert say like, hey, am I able to do this? Is this a good time? And they look at your books and say, okay, yeah, for your next step to scale, you're good to go with, you can swing this $1,500 shop payment. Yeah, because we, we know how it is. You start making some money in the painting and then painting is very lucrative. You make good money. And the next thing you know, like, oh, I wanna buy this, I wanna buy that. And then you like stretch your or like stress yourself too thin. And next thing you know, you're bleeding money or you're breaking even. Or you're backing yourself into a corner. Yeah. And you start stressing out. And you start stressing out. And then next thing you know, you're just working to survive and pay your bills and your credit card debt. If you go back to the why most painters are broke, we broke down the main reasons that painters are broke based on all the reports that we have from all the clients that we're working. It's, it's insane. And then listen to that episode. I highly recommend listening to that episode, Why Most Painters Are Broke, because there's certain things that you might be doing and you're not aware. That's why we came up with that, because a lot of people, they're doing things and they're not aware that they're actually, those things are hurting them. 
that's I think that's one of our best episodes, hands down, because you we can make a lot of people aware, and you don't even have to hire just by listening to that. You can see what things are you doing wrong, and you can start changing and implementing. Key features of Kyle books. I think you talked a little yeah. bit about them. But uh, the main thing I wanted to ask you, because I see you keep throwing this world around reconciliation. What does bank reconciliation mean for the people out there that don't know this? Uh, okay, guys, term. I'm not the expert. If you want to know that word, oh. you have to reach out to Cloudbooks. <laughs> reach out to Cloudbooks. Uh, you go some, or send us a DM and we'll schedule. It, the consultations are free. And then just getting a 30 minute phone call with an expert. If you go to any accountant's office, I don't know, it's probably anywhere from 150 bucks to 300 bucks an hour to get a consultation with a CPA. It's, it's pretty expensive. So reach out for free. You'll get 30 minutes with, with each expert. And then you can ask all those, uh, because again, I'm not an expert. I'm just, uh, I'm just a painter. I'm just a dirty painter. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't go to accounting school. So, uh, but just, to say, like reconciliation is when all the things are pretty much matching and then you don't have any discrepancies. If you want more in depth, reach out, submit your form, and then um, an expert CPA will reach out to you to kind of understand the metrics of your business. And we talked about the key features. Yeah, uh, the key features of CloudBooks, send out estimates, invoice your customers, keep track of your jobs, keep track of your subcontractors and your employees. You can either run your payroll through there great things that you you can run your, the whole business. You can link your uh, accounts and credit cards too? Yeah, everything you can link. Uh, Got it. That's the first thing that you we do pretty much. We'll link, uh, we get view access to your bank accounts, to your business bank accounts, to your credit cards. That way everything is tracked. And then we make sure, um, because a lot of times credit cards, a lot of people, they just, they don't keep track of, they don't reconciliate uh, the credit cards with uh, the expenses and then th it throws the books off because they'll make just a credit card payment and then uh, let's say they make a $5,000 credit card payment but that $5,000 includes marketing expenses, material expenses, gas, uh, utilities, office expenses. So we saw that when people, they were just paying the credit card and they were just making a, a business expense but there's 30 expenses that they need to be categorized in that $5,000. So those are the main key features. And also we didn't have time to print this out because Carmelo sent them to me this morning. We're gonna talk about the key features of past the financial and the expert and the accountants. We're gonna talk about the features of what you get in addition to your membership for free to work with Cloudbooks. And then, um, a lot of uh, marketing companies, consulting companies, they charge big money for teaching you those things, which we send everything from the moment you sign up with Cloudbooks, we send everything out for free. All the things that you need to run a successful operation. We teach you how to build a brand, number one. We teach you how to attract high value leads, high value customers. We teach you how to position yourself on social media because that's our expertise. We're not Google SEO experts. We're not uh, Google paid ads experts. We're not, we just, all we do is paid ads through Meta, Facebook, and Instagram. So we help you to build your branding. We tell you what videos to post. We tell you how to engage your customers. And we tell you what content to produce for your customers. We, we help you uh, define your ideal client, certain characteristics, zip codes, what your ideal avatar looks like, because you can have bookkeeping in order, but you don't have, if you don't have enough leads, enough sales, there's nothing for the bookkeeper to track. There's no money. What are they gonna track if you don't have work or if you're just sitting around at home? So we have to make sure you understand how to get working. Like we said, property sizes, values, so we help you identify your ideal client in your market. Then we teach you how to get leads for free. Go on the how to get leads for free episode and then you can see kind of get a generic idea of uh, how we do it. And then we go more in depth when you work with us one-on-one -on, -one on how to do that outreach, how to create local partnerships, how to create a referral network, how to reach out to these people, how to build key relationships that they're gonna bring lifetime value in your business how to build those relationships so people are motivated to bring you leads, to bring you work. 
you said networking events. I mean, we're not big into networking events, but we still have scripts for our reps to go out there and network and bring uh, key relationships. So we give you all that as well. And then, because a lot of you, they do, you don't even have basic CRMs or you don't even have any uh, Google Sheets to keep track of all your leads, your lead nurturing process. We're not proficient, but we've used a few CRMs and based on your budget, we can suggest and recommend, or we can teach you how to do it on paper in the beginning and Google Sheets until you can afford a CRM system. We help you build out if you decide to go the CRM system. We, work, we, we use ourselves, a few of them, and we teach you on the ones we use ourselves for our business, how to set up your own business on it. And then also you have the software and the CRM, then we explain to you how the whole lead nurturing process works, how it works when you, the lead comes in on Facebook, Facebook forms, and then the whole sequence to go in your CRM, how to reach out, how to re-engage the lead if they don't answer. We set up the aut automations, emails, texts, whatever it might be to get those people to respond. So because our goal is to not just get you leads, but we want to increase the show rate and we want to increase the booked appointment rate because we can get you all the leads, but if nobody's answering the phone, if nobody is booking appointments, is booking appointments then what's the point of getting leads? And then once we have that in place, then we look at the booked appointments. If you're not selling the booked appointments, then you might need some sales training. You might need to work on your scripts. You might need to work on your in-person process. You might need to work on how you talk to the customer. We audit your sales process. We listen to your phone calls because we can get you the leads, but if you're not converting the leads, there is no money in coming in so, and there's nothing for the bookkeepers to track if you have zero dollars. And then all the follow-up sequences after you- The lead comes in. You do the estimates. Because a lot of times, especially if you're starting out, you don't close on the spot. Even us, I mean, it's not like we go to every estimate out there and we close on the spot and we come back with checks. No, we have to follow up. A lot of times customers will bring objections so or they'll be waiting for other estimates. That's the name of the game. We teach you how to re-engage those customers. Uh, how to get the most out of them. How to get the most out of every lead. Because a lot of times you don't need a lot of leads. You just need to utilize and get the most out of the leads that you're currently bringing in. Because there's, up, there's way more opportunities. That's another thing that I realized. People think they just need more leads, but they don't realize they already have this big list of customers that they already paid for and they don't know how to re-engage it or they don't know how to reactivate those leads or they don't know how to sell them more. They don't know how to increase the LTV with those customers. So we teach you all these techniques and all these metrics and all these follow-up sequences, re-engaging uh, sequences, so you can make the most out of every customer that decides to reach out to your business. Because what's a lead? A lead is, as long as you have a name and a way to reach out to them, that's a lead. If they showed any interest for your business, that's a lead. Next yes. one is analyze and refine your strategies, which is a great thing that we've talked about in the past. That way you monitor the effectiveness of your different marketing or lead sources. Uh, so you can pinpoint, uh, hey, this ad is working, this platform is not working for me. So whatever I'm putting into this, I should feed it into here where it's bringing me the most return on my money. Correct. So how Carmelo said, we're gonna go in your business, we're gonna install, we install the KPIs that we use for our own business. Same exact, exact KPIs that we use for our own business, we're gonna install them in yours so we can track the health of your business. We can track the health of your marketing channels. Uh, we can track your sales. We can track your uh, sales reps. We can track the performance of your appointments. All these things are very, very important and vital if you want to run a successful organization. So that's where the strategy side comes in. And then uh, you get all the tools to be able to do that. And you get the education to be able to understand what those metrics are. Uh, I think you said that first, which is the utilizing social media platforms like Facebook, yeah. Instagram, LinkedIn for some people, but uh, our bread and butter is Facebook and Instagram. Yeah, correct. So we pretty much give you the whole blueprint on how you can build um, your brand and how you can build your Instagram as a high converting funnel to turn eyeballs into leads and to turn leads into paying customers. All that comes with 
as a bonus with your Cloudbook sus subscription. That's why I said when you decide that you're ready to delegate your bookkeeping responsibilities, interview a bunch of companies. Interview three different bookkeeping companies. Reach out to them, ask questions. Ask them, how can you help my business grow? How can you make my business better? How can you make me more money? That's why we titled this uh, episode, How Cloudbooks Can Make You More Money. Because we're not just um, like your assistant to help you do the books. We give you all the other ne necessary tools to be successful because it's like a car. You can't have a car going uh, if you don't have the engine or you, don't ha you can't have a car drive if you don't have wheels or if you don't have a transmission or if you don't have, I don't know, any part, uh, any part, even the smallest part. Yeah, everything has to tie in together. And that's how business works. Business is pretty, very similar to a car. You need to have all the components working together so it can drive. And then the same with business. You can't just be good on marketing and suck at sales. Your business is not gonna drive. It's not gonna go, it's not gonna make money. That's why we are very unique, I would like to say, in uh, uh, compared to other bookkeeping companies because we help you build the whole car. We help you build every component of your business so your business can be successful and operate properly. This is why, how Cloudbooks can uh, make you more money and why you should consider it. The next episode is basic intro into bookkeeping if you decide to do it yourself in the beginning until you can afford to delegate that. So we're gonna go cer uh, through certain reports of, um, that you need to understand, you need to learn, and then how to do it yourself pretty much in the beginning until you can delegate that task and free up more time. Because your end goal with hiring a bookkeeper is to free up time so you can focus more on your business, so you can do other things that you have more value on. Because if you can save 10 hours a month without having to do your bookkeeping, you can take that 10 hours and do outreach, do marketing, train your sales rep or train yourself in sales in other uh, means of where you make, you make more money or your time is of better use compared to you just sitting in front of your computer and doing your own bookkeeping. And that's when you have to start thinking as a business owner. Because as a business owner, time is your most valuable asset. And in the beginning, when you're struggling and try, just surviving, you don't really understand that because you're just trying to make ends meet. But the more your business grows, the more money starts rolling in, you start understanding that time is my most valuable asset and I have to make proper use of it. Do you have any questions about bookkeeping or cloud books? No, I think it's, uh, like I said earlier in the beginning, it's uh, basically have a strategic partner in your corner helping you navigate. <sighs> through scaling your business. And it's a great asset to have. So when you're interviewing those bookkeeping companies, put down the pros and how much value you're getting for your money every month. Yeah, so if you want Cloudbooks to be your growth partner for your painting business, like we said, send us a message and we're more than happy to schedule a free consultation with you guys, with an expert CPA and with one of us so we can understand your business better and see if we're a good fit for each other and see how we can help your business grow. It's completely free. So no obligations, no, no contracts, nothing. You don't have to pay a single dollar to schedule a consultation. Just go on the website, uh, clawbooks.biz, click get started, fill out the form, and then we'll reach out to you to schedule a free consultation and business assessment. That will wrap up this episode of the Dirty Painters Podcast. Stay tuned for the next episode. We're gonna go more in depth on metrics. Be sure to follow our business on Instagram at Olympian Painting. Also our personal pages at Olympian underscore Radiant and Olympian underscore Carmelo for more content. And also follow Cloudbooks to get more content like this. And guys, if you like this episode or if you got any value, make sure you share it with a fellow painter or a fellow tradie. Until next time, this is Radiant. And I'm Carmelo. Signing off from the Dirty Painters Podcast. Thank you. Thank you, guys.